What is going on, guys? My name is Elmer, and welcome back to another episode of the podcast. Uh, if you guys don't know me, uh, my name's Elmer, like I just said. Um, if you guys are coming from YouTube, Yadu Chavez, that's my YouTube name right there. If you're just coming across this podcast as a whim, and whether it's like in the future, and it's on iTunes or wherever I'm going to put put this, I don't, I have no idea. Um, feel free to look me up. You know, go ahead and do that. See what you think. Um, but anyway, I just hit the mic. I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, uh, I feel like I kind of started off with this podcast series on the wrong foot because I, I was thinking about like topics on what to talk about earlier. And the I, I noticed that I didn't actually make a or the first episode be about myself. You know, who am I? Who are you guys listening to and why you guys should listen to me? Uh, I'm not going to answer that question. I mean, you guys don't have to listen to me. I'm just kind of doing this because like, I want a creative outlet to talk about things. Since on my YouTube channel, which like I mentioned earlier, is kind of where I'm coming from, I kind of don't really have an outlet anymore. Um, on my YouTube channel, I currently post a lot of Call of Duty content, whether it's zombies, whether it's multiplayer, whether it's Battle Royale, or whatever the case may be. But back in the day when I first started, maybe like a couple thousand subscribers ago, I would post kind of mini podcasts, if you will, like commentaries of what they were called back in the day, where similar to the video version of this podcast, if you were to, uh, you know, maybe play some Call of Duty, you know, you would record it with whatever hardware you have, you would you go into your editing on your computer, you would talk over it, talk about a certain topic, and then upload that. And so that's pretty much what myself and a bunch of people would do back in the day on Call of Duty. Um, there was a lot of people who just let who inspired me to make videos and I think I'm the only one now who does it consistently everyone else from back then kind of dropped off and started doing their own thing whether it's with life or with work or whatever the case may be but when I tell people hey um, I'm still doing YouTube I'm still doing this thing uh, you guys inspired me and they think it's pretty cool that I'm still kind of going strong. I'm not trying to boast about my YouTube channel. My, my YouTube channel isn't that big. Like compared to the other guys, and when I say other guys, I mean compared to my friends who I am friends with on YouTube, they are huge. I know people with millions of subscribers, hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I'm only at 8,000. Maybe at this point, as of recording this, I'm like 8,700, almost 8,800. Um, and I've been at that for a while. I've been at that for maybe a year or two now. I, I'm not. I'm not too sure. But that's pretty much, you know, my, oh, I'm sorry about the ticking. Um, I got to set this thing off the PS4. So the ticking, which in case you guys are curious, no, it's not a bomb or anything. It's my PS4 controller. The video format of this is kind of bringing it back to the commentary like I was talking about. So as of talking right now, I am currently recording some gameplay that I got while playing Call of Duty last night. Um, I wanted to kind of keep it old school with my style and just, you know, talk. So that way I'm not just op uploading a blank, uh, like the screen onto YouTube. I mean, yeah, people can kind of play their podcast on YouTube and not really think much of it and just let it play in the background while they do homework or something. That's okay. But in case someone just wants to sit down, wants something to, you know, relax, watch, you know, have as like background noise or whatever the case may be, they can do that too. Um, so that's pretty much it right there. That's kind of how I'm doing things. And that's kind of like the, the whole... YouTube background of me, if you will. Um, the more in real life background as to who I am, I am currently 23 years old. Um, I say currently because I don't know when you guys are listening to this, but I'm 23 years old. Um, I'm not in school. A lot of people have been asking me if I'm currently in school or anything like that. No, I'm not in school. Um, I'm just kind of working full time doing YouTube as a hobby. Um, not gonna lie, I hate my job right now. So what I do for a living full time is I sell gym memberships. If you guys don't know as well, I'm a huge gym rat. Um, I'm what I call myself a buff nerd because I like to work out. I'm, I'm in no means buff, or at least I don't think that I am buff. I just like to work out. I enjoy fitness. I enjoy lifting, you know, getting strong, building strength and all that stuff. Um, but, you know, I'm also a nerd. Um, I, I love anime, I love video games, I love mangas, you know, um, that whole culture right there. Speaking of which, real quick side topic, if you guys are into anime, and you guys at the time of, you know, if you guys are new listeners, and you guys are listening to this when I upload it, bro, this Dragon Ball Super Broly movie is going to be fire. I can already tell. Um, 
What is going on over here? So, in, I'm also trying to speed up this podcast because, A, hold on a second. Are they here? What is that? Uh, so, long story short, about six months ago, um, my, my house was, or my family's house, excuse me, uh, we were involved in a, <clears throat> I need some water. Excuse me, I'm sorry for the audio peaks, but we were involved in a kitchen fire. And so today is a day where all the renovators and the insurance company, they give us everything back. So like all of our furniture, our dressers, our kitchen tables, all that stuff is coming today. So I'm trying to keep a lookout. Hopefully they don't come in the middle of this podcast because then that would suck because I'd have to do two sessions, pick up where I left off, and it would just interrupt the flow. I can't do that. I, I like to do things all at once. But yeah, going back to as, as to who I am, um, I sell gym memberships. I'm a buff nerd. Um, I like lifting. I like nerd shit like video games and anime. Um, which I feel like now is like going into the mainstream or is going into pop culture. So it's more normal. I remember back in the day, I would always like get shit for being that much of a nerd. Um, I love Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is my all time favorite anime. Um, I've watched it growing up as a kid and I still watch it now to this day. Um, that's kind of just like who I am. Like half, half the shirts, half the t-shirts that I have in my closet, which right now isn't a lot because like I said, we're getting all of our stuff back today, but all of the shirts that I picked up in the past couple of months while not living at home and just kind of moving, you know, house hopping, if you will, until our house is complete, which it is. We're, we're, we're back in the house now. It's just an empty house. You know, we've got some furniture. Um, I finally got a bed yesterday. I haven't slept in a bed in like two months. I've been sleeping on, sleeping on the floor. So my back is, whoo, my back is messed up. The other night at the gym, one of my friends who's a personal trainer, he he's really, like, he's experienced. He's been a trainer for years. He's, like, the master level trainer, which I don't know what that means, but it sounds legit. But he knows this, this thing called trigger point therapy. And I never, I'm not really, like, into getting massages. Like, I've never gone to get a massage. I've been to, like, a chiropractor and everything, but I never went out of my way to, like, go get a massage at, like, a, a massage parlor or something. Um... I've just never done that. I'd be down to do it. The only massage I've gotten was when I was in high school. I traveled with some, with like, I guess my class to Thailand and we all got Thai massages, which was probably the best massage out there, in my opinion. Best massage out there being the only one that I got. I, I got to, I got to stop. I got to stop claiming things that I don't know about. But anyway, what was I talking about? I hate this. I hate this so much because I'm going off on a tangent and I can't remember what I was supposed to be talking about. But, um, oh yeah, the hot, the fire. So, uh, long story short, six months ago, had a fire, moved back into the house now. We're getting all of our stuff today, so I'm kind of waiting on that to uh, go around. Um, I do YouTube, like I said, part-time, um, Call of Duty stuff. I want to try and switch it up the variety, so that's why um, I'm doing the podcast now, because I want something that my OG, my original, the people who have been subbed to me from back in the day who love my voice and whatnot, uh, I want something that they can still enjoy and they can still listen to. Uh, man. All right. I'm sorry. The, uh, the renovators are here. Um, <laughs> I'm probably going to have to do this thing in two sittings, like I said. So this is going to be so annoying. So if I, if I'm going to cut the podcast right here for, for right now, but if I come back and it, I don't know where I picked, where I dropped off or picked up or whatever I ended it at, I'm sorry. Um, worst case scenario, I'll just start this over. But I'll see you guys. And why am I saying it like it's a video? You guys are gonna hear me in like two seconds. All right, give me just give me a second. Give me a second. All right, I'm back. Uh, they've got like six crates and six boxes of stuff. No, where are you going? You gotta stay in here. You can't you can't be going anywhere. So for those of you who also don't know a little bit about me, is I have a dog. I have a Pomeranian. His name is Easy. He hates my room. I put him in here right now just so that he doesn't get in the way of like the contractors like bringing the stuff back in the house, putting him where it needs to be. He, the dog doesn't bark. He doesn't like do anything. He just gets excited and so I just don't want him to get in the way. And he hates my room for some reason. Look at you. You're just sitting right by the door ready to go. Anyway, so if you guys hear any noises, any loud whatever is in the background, that's just them working. Try to ignore it. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. My room isn't soundproof. And by the way, people probably think I have like a studio. No, I just do everything out of my own bedroom, which sounds, <laughs> which makes me sound like just, 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 I don't know, a piece of trash or something because I still live with my mom. I'm 23 years old. I live with my mom, little brother, little sister. Um, I don't have the money to move out and get my own place. I wish I did. I'm not even kidding. I wish either my job or I wish YouTube paid it well enough to do that. 
Um, a lot of my friends, they are able to do that, and I'm super jealous of them because I would love to be in a place where, since I do video game stuff, and you know, obviously playing video games can make you rage, you get excited, you yell, you scream, whatever. I wish I could do that. I typically play late at night, and so I can't really rage or stream or just like you know get really into it late night because I don't want to wake anyone up. So that's pretty much you know kind of my wish. I wish I could kind of just like st- I, I oh my god, I mentioned that I hate my job right now. Um, I sell gym memberships. I used to be at the brand new, like at the newest gym in the company. I don't want to say what company I work for, but I used to be work at the newest gym in the company, which was in my area. And so since I sell gym memberships, people were signing up left and right. I was getting mad commission. I was like the second best salesman at my location other than my general manager. And so that went well. We had a meeting. We figured out the numbers. We figured out that I was like the second best. The next day, the district manager comes in and he goes, Hey, I'm sending you to this gym, which is like the like the worst gym location in the company. You know, no one like I've been there for about two weeks. I've seen more people cancel their membership and then sign up for a membership. It's it's just bad. It's almost depressing. And so, so many times I just wish that I was able to just quit everything, quit YouTube or I'm not. Whoa, no quick YouTube. No, I wish I could quit my day job and do YouTube and, you know, game and everything full time. I've seen so many people do it. I don't know how they do it. I just want to give a quick random shout out to a couple of people real quick who can do it. Um, Aaron, my friend Aaron FPS, him and I started off doing the same thing, but then, you know, he did his own thing. He blew up and now he's just, do, he's his own boss, you know. Um, I could be wrong, but I know he worked at like a real estate agent for a while. He used to be a waiter at a restaurant. The rest of restaurant. He used to be a waiter at a restaurant. Um, he wasn't really the biggest fan. Or maybe, no, we, we went, I visited him one time for our birthday because we have like a birthday a day apart. Um, and so I drove down to his place at Virginia beach. We went to his restaurant. It was a fun time. It was fun. Um, I don't know if he hated the job or if he just liked the job, but he just wanted to live to his full potential, I guess. And so now he's like one of those life coach, not really life coaches, but like he is like an entrepreneur, you know, he does his own thing. He has his own business. He's making his own money and it's treating him well. I'm not going to say what he makes, you know, but it is, it's, it's, I'm jealous, you know? So shout out to him. I'm proud of you, dude. Another person that I actually met recently is a YouTube who probably at this point, he's well past a million. Um, I met this other gaming YouTube channel named, or his name on YouTube is Korean Savage. Um, Funny story about that. So at the current time, it's been about like a month and we got the new Call of Duty, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 for all of of you gamers. Um, And so we had, it's been about a month since it came out. Some of my friends had got it. One of my friends who's like the... He's like a super strong power lifter. He's like one of the strongest guys in the country. He hit me up the other night saying, yo, I want to get Call of Duty. Is it any good? And I'm like, yeah, dude, it's fun. You got something for everything. If you want to play zombies, if you want to play Battle Royale, if you just want to play normal multiplayer, whatever. And so he hit me up saying, oh, you know, how's zombies? How's multiplayer? And then he mentioned that he's friends or he knows a guy who goes to a local gym in the area that I have access to that I can go to who... His name was like, he told me, it's like, yeah, I'm friends with this guy. His name is like Korean something on YouTube. And so I looked him up and he's like, at the time, he's probably at like 900,000 subscribers, about to hit a million. And so I thought, this is crazy. I kind of want to meet this guy. So I started going to that local gym in the area. I went at different times to try and catch him. And I just was having no luck. And then the other day, like I think two days ago, um, instead of going to the gym, that's like five minutes from my house, because it's like, it's a rundown gym. Like, it's, it's super small. Half the stuff doesn't work. But I just go there because it's local. It's I, it's super convenient. I can just go there, drive five minutes, come back home, and I'm done. I decided to switch it up. And so I decided, you know what? Let me just switch up the routine. Let me get a good workout in and go to the other gym in the area that you know I was talking about a minute ago. And so I go there, and I'm pretty much done with my workout. I'm doing my last couple of exercises. I'm taking a break. I'm on my phone, whatever. And then... I just, you know, when you're in the gym, you're just kind of like, you know, wander, you look around, you know, you're just in the zone and I'm looking around. I wasn't like trying to find them. I just, you know, we're just looking around, you know, you look around at random shit all the time. I was looking around and I see the guy who's like, I see Korean Savage, you know, walk into the gym and I noticed him. I think he might've noticed me, but I think he thought I was weird because like I was giving him a look like, is that, is, is that, is that him? Is that you? <laughs> And so since I, since I was still in the middle of my workout, I didn't want to interrupt or like stop the flow and he was starting to work out. And so I didn't want to like walk up to him mid set. 
you know, have the freaking weight drop on his neck or something and I kill him. You know, I don't want to do that. So um, at first I tweet him. I'm just like, hey, what's up? With the, like a muscle emoji and I at him. No answer. So that, okay, you know, maybe he doesn't check his phone. But I see he's on his phone. I'm like, oh, okay, I see how this guy is. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. But, you know, I, I'm done with my workout. I go into the locker room. I change my shirt, put my sweater on because it's cold now. And I see him. He just finished his set. He's on his phone. He's got his headphones out. So he's taking a break. And so I walk up to him. And I'm like, excuse me, uh, are, are you Korean Savage? And he goes, yeah, I am. And, he, and I just told him, you know, hey, you know, I've been watching you for a while. I'm in your streams. Um, kind of like BSing. Oh God, I feel terrible. I hope he doesn't listen to this. But anyway, um, but yeah, I ran into him. I met him and we started talking about YouTube for like an hour. He told me that, you know, at the time he was in the same position I was in, you know, he, he was working a lot or he didn't have really have enough time to do YouTube, but he just committed. He had a part-time job at the time, which is completely different from having a full-time job. It's so much easier doing YouTube on a part-time schedule or for, for work rather. And, you know, he just grinded out videos day and night. He lost sleep. He made sacrifices, which I wish I could do. And I'm trying to do. I told him, hey, you know what? I'd rather put out. So let me explain it this way, actually. So if you guys have watched SpongeBob, you guys probably remember the episode. It's like a classic episode. The episode where SpongeBob, and I make this analogy all the time in terms of my videos. And I'm not trying to, you know, throw shade at any other content creators. I'm just kind of using this as how I see it. But. The episode of SpongeBob where he's doing the cook-off against King Neptune for Krabby Patties. And King Neptune makes like a thousand patties in a minute while SpongeBob is just taking a sweet little time with just one Krabby Patty. And I'm pretty much SpongeBob because if you guys remember, the one Krabby Patty he made was better than the thousand that Neptune made in a minute. Like no one liked them or no one liked the quality of their Krabby Patties. Like they were not good. And so... I'm not saying people who upload videos like three or four times a day or at least every day are, you know, they're like they're crappy quality videos. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that my style, it was that I want to put out content that is quality, that will stand out. If I put out content like every single day, obviously the quality is going to drop and it's just not going to be appealing to anyone. And so... I told him that, you know, I told him, you know, I'm trying to put out quality content. I'm trying to do it at least three times a week. And he goes, that's not going to work, dude. The way YouTube, the analogy, the the way the website will like push you to grow, putting out three videos a week, if you're lucky, if you have the time, it's not going to make you grow. You're going to be stuck, you know, with a dead channel for a long time. And he told me that he told me that straight up, like to be blunt, you know, he was telling me that to be honest, because he used to do the same thing, he said, but then he worked his ass off, he put out videos daily, and now, like, every single day, he's growing by the thousands of subscribers. Like, as of recording, I think he's at, like, 970-something thousand subscribers. He's about to hit a million any minute now. And so, with that, you know, that really inspired me, that really pushed me to want to create more. So, I've been trying to make videos, you know, more consistently, you know, whether it's, like, you know, Call of Duty videos, a video form of the podcast or whatever the case may be. And so I'm trying to do that on top of, you know, working full time, streaming on Twitch, which is different from YouTube, completely different from YouTube videos. I just want, you know, my worth ethic to change. So that way, one day I don't have to say, oh, I hate my job. I hate waking up. I hate having to go to the nine to five. And I can pretty much just work for myself and do my own thing, which is making YouTube videos, obviously, you know, to any other person, probably to like, for example, like my mom, I'm not talking down to her. I'm just saying like the generation difference. She might think that making YouTube videos, quitting her day job, not going to school is the dumbest move ever. But what I, I mean, I've never talked to her about this, but I feel like she just wouldn't understand the potential. Like there are people who started from literally the bottom of YouTube who have surpassed me. And, you know, they started after me. They start making videos after me. And I've been doing YouTube for years. They start making videos. They start putting up stuff on YouTube after me. And then they blow up. And now they're just making, like, money. You know, like, one of my friends from YouTube, him and I used to do the same content, Call of Duty Zombies, maybe, like, two or three years ago. His name is Avery. Him and I were always, like, neck and neck in subscribers. He was putting out quality content a couple times a week, like I'm doing now. And... After a while, he just blew up. He went from like a small YouTuber like me 
to now he's in or he now he's part of like the biggest gaming company like the youtube gaming company i think it's called or i guess is what you would classify it as but he's part of a, a gaming clan called phase it's like the biggest gaming clan in the in ever you know i'm sure everyone's heard of it he does a lot of fortnite stuff my other friend pack a puncher um he got flown out or he got like invited out to do like a fortnite money tournament where like the more kills you get the more money you make or something like that and it's just it's crazy you know it's it's insane that's something i would love to do one day probably the biggest like push and the biggest inspiration that i had was over the summer i went to a gaming tournament called zombies world championship which you know it's pretty much how it is you know for call of duty zombies if you can complete a challenge with like the certain requirements and you do it well enough you get the highest score you get the most kills or whatever you would get to flow you get you would get flown out i can't talk i'm sorry you would get flown out to california compete for thousands of dollars in prize money and then you know you get recognized and so i of course competed you know it was hard because i was moving a lot at the time because you know i went from a house fire home to a hotel to a family friend's you know basement or like add on to the house or whatever and so it was hard to compete but i still went either way i wasn't planning on like oh if i don't win i'm just not gonna go no even though i was competing even though i entered for the online tournament I still went. I still saved up money and I still went. And the experience was awesome. I would love to do it again. I, and I can't wait to do it again either. So anyway, one of the biggest motivations of that whole trip was just meeting everyone. And you would think that similar to celebrities, if like I were to see, for example, a celebrity, like a movie star on the street... I would be scared to go up to them because I feel like they wouldn't want to talk to them or talk to me rather because I'm a fan or something like that. And I feel like that's probably like a bad stigma or a bad, um, what's the word? What is the stereotype of celebrities where it's like they don't want to talk to your fans, you know, they're too prestigious or whatever. I kind of assume the, th the same thing for these YouTubers, these content creators. But when I was there, I just was not nervous because... I, you know, like I've been to concerts before, for example, and I've have you know made friends with some of the fans who are there because, you know, they they want they love the person's music, they want to meet them, and just the split second where they see the performer like go from their trailer to the venue, like they walk outside of the trailer, they walk ten feet, and they go inside the venue to sound check. Those ten seconds of like, oh my god, it's him, it's him, it's it's her, it's whatever. Like they're fangirling, it's crazy, and so I would never fangirl over that because like. At the end of the day, whether you're like a, a movie celebrity, whether you're a recording artist, whether you're a YouTuber, if you turn off the cameras, if you turn off your Xbox or your PS4, if you turn off your microphone, at the end of the day, what are you? You're an average Joe. You're anyone else. You just you just got known. That's the only difference. And so I went to the Zombies tournament with that mindset. And so, I, yeah, I was excited to meet everyone. I was excited to meet all the big guys. But... I thought like, oh, hey, it's nice to meet you. Do you want me to sign something? You want to take a picture? Cool. That's what I thought it would be like. But no, it was insane because like I was talking to people who have like millions of subscribers for like hours that day. It was insane. And then after the tournament, we all went to the, we, we went to their house. We were having a good time. I look, I'm looking around the house. I'm like, first thing I see a grand piano, a glass staircase, a big kitchen and a pool in the backyard. I'm looking at some like, this is what I want to be one day. This is what I want to be able to do. Maybe not have like a house like that, but be able to get flown out and live in a house like that for a week to compete in something that I love doing. That would be the dream. That would be awesome. In terms of how do I get there? I have no idea. Everyone knows there's no written down step, step to step process to success. It takes time. It takes trial and error. And to be honest, I'm not Russian. I'm in no rush to get famous, to get known. And I'm not doing this to get famous or get known. I'm really just, at the end of the day, I'm doing this YouTube stuff as a hobby because it's something that I enjoy doing. It's a creative outlet and it's just fun. I enjoy playing video games. I enjoy talking about stuff. I enjoy playing with friends. I enjoy interacting with my followers and, and supporters. It's something I like doing. And so that's why I do it. And to one tip I would like to give to anyone who is even thinking about starting a YouTube channel, whether it is for gaming, whether it is of for fitness, or whether it's like a makeup tutorial, or whether it's food, or whatever, 
the one tip I want to give you is if you're going or if you're wanting to go into YouTube for the money, you're doing it for the wrong reasons and you won't blow up. Because like I said, I'm not in YouTube for the money. I don't make any, I don't make a single dollar out of making YouTube videos. The only money that I make is off stream donations and that's it, which it, still at the end of the day, it's not a lot, you know? I like I've seen videos of like people getting thousands of dollars in donations. I'm lucky if I get ten bucks at once. I get like a dollar here and there, like some Twitch, Twitch coins or Twitch bits, whatever it's called. I I don't remember, but I'd be lucky if I got that. You know what I mean? And so that's why being in YouTube for the money, it's not. I'm not in it for the money at all. I'm just in it for the good times, for the experience, for the networking. Cause how often can you say? Yeah, I'm friends with this guy who has a millions, who has like a million subscribers on YouTube, or who is super known for gaming, who can get like a bunch of kills in one game, or whatever. I mean, to anyone else, to the average Joe, it might not mean anything, but to someone like me, it's it's pretty awesome. I I think it's pretty cool. Um, how long are we going at this podcast now? Let me see. Twenty six minutes. We're twenty six minutes and some change. I think into this podcast now. Um, the plan was to kind of maybe go for an hour or so, cause I've been listening to a lot of podcasts now and I feel like that's how they go for about an hour, 45 minutes or so. But you know what? I can only talk about myself to myself right now. Cause I'm just sitting in front of a microphone talking right now. I can only do that for so long that after a while, a, my jaw hurts. Like my, my jaw is torn. I think I have like a, like TMJ. I think it's called like after a while where I eat or chew or talk for a long time, like the sides of my mouth start to feel weird and it aches, but I can only do that for so long. I could keep going, but I'm starting to run out of things to talk about. I'm also starting to get nervous about these movies because it looks like they're just putting everything in the garage. They're blocking my car in. So if I need to go somewhere, I'm kind of screwed, but I don't, I don't got to go anywhere. I'm just a lazy piece of shit who just stays at home all day. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, you know, who I am as a person. That's pretty much like my mindset for what I do and why I do it. It's I just do it because it's fun. Um, in high school, like I mentioned, I got shit for it. Like, <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. At first, I thought it was just me. But if if I were to meet someone, you know, like if I make a new friend and they have no idea about my YouTube channel or anything like this, I'm not going to bring it up at all. If they find out about it, sure they can do what they will with it. But if they, you know, if they watch my videos in front of me, that's when I get embarrassed. That's when I get nervous. My dog is just sitting in front of the door waiting to leave. He does not like my room. But anyway, apparently I'm not the only one who gets that. Like I, and I guess other people as well, we get embarrassed when people watch our own videos in front of us. I don't know if it's because we just don't like the sound of our voice or anything like that. I like the sound of my voice, to be honest. Fun fact, I want to be a voice actor. That's why I do this voiceover stuff for commentaries, for podcasts. People have always told me that I should be on the radio, that I should be, you know, in in, in a movie trailer voice or, or whatever the case may be. Like, that'd be a fun thing to do, to be honest. Like, my favorite voice, voice actors, fun fact, are Christopher Sabat, who voices a lot of anime. Like, I think the, my two favorite voice actors are anime people. One of them is Christopher Sabat who does Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z, Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z, All Might from My Hero Academia. Um, I can't think of anyone else, to be honest. Uh, My second one is Steve Bloom, who I think he has like the record for the most voice, um, voice or vocal appearances in like a video game or a series. He, he legit sounds like a movie trailer guy. Just when he talks, it's crazy. And so I would love to do something like that one day. Maybe not as like a full-time gig because I hear it doesn't really pay well unless you're lucky. Um, But as like a hobby, just to say I did it, I would love to do voiceover, whether it's like maybe just an animation or anything like that. It doesn't have to be anything big. Like I'm not asking to be put on like Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon or be put in a movie for like an anime series or anything like that. I'm just saying in general, it'd be cool. You know what I mean? And so I I feel like I'm going on enough right now. I'm I'm out about 30 minutes in um, of this podcast now. Oh, by the way, I'm calling this podcast the podcast. That's it. I'm not creative at all when it comes to making names. I told you guys in the last episode how I got my name on YouTube. And so I'm just not creative at all. So welcome to the podcast. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you guys did and you guys are watching this on YouTube, 
drop a like, leave a comment down below. If you guys heard this thing all the way through, leave a comment down below what you guys want me to talk about in future episodes. As you notice, I'm trying to do this once a week. Um, we're trying to work it out on a schedule basis. But what do you guys want me to talk about in the future? I tweeted that out about an hour before recording this, and I got no responses. Yet I got likes. I got likes, but no responses. Our Twitter followers are great. I love them. They're all <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Like my, my followers, I thank you guys so much for the support. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now and not like I feel like it, it's different whether like you're doing it and you have supporters, like you have people who enjoy your content and you're doing it and no one's watching you. Like if no one was watching me like the first year or two years of me doing this kind of thing, I probably wouldn't still be doing this. But the fact that like people say, oh, hey, I listened to last week's episode. I liked it. I just like the sound of your voice or I watched a new video. I was you know watching your stream in the background of like me doing homework. If it were for people like that, I probably wouldn't still be doing this. Like I love getting comments where it's like, you made my day. You put out something. You, you made this video. You talked about this, whatever. You made my day. That's what I'm doing this for. I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing it for the people. So with that being said, if the people could help me out, help them, help me help you, Leave a comment, or whether it's like something, somewhere, I don't know how I'm doing this yet. Leave a comment, what do you guys want me to talk about in the future episodes? Let me know. Video version, drop a like on the video, subscribe so that we guys don't miss next week's episode of the podcast. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Wait, whoa, that, <laughs> let me see, hold on, let me see if I can do this. And I will see you guys in the next episode of the podcast. That was so cringy. I'm sorry. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.